Alright, so how's it going people? So um, we're now in practice mode because I want to teach you guys how to practice Lost DSS using this app that I have on screen right now. So what do you call this app? It's called Tekken Bot Prime and it has a built-in function that allows us to view our command inputs but it's not like the command history that we have in the game because this one allows us to view the individual frame by frame information about our command inputs which is really really good because it lets you practice the most difficult just frame stuff in the game like what you saw me do the other day I was practicing Brian Stunt Jet Upper so if we can practice Brian Stunt Jet Upper with this we can certainly practice Lost DSS using this so how do we start? So uh, let's start first with was standing for to DSS, all right, since that's the most difficult DSS transition that law has. Okay, so how do you do a was standing for? Well, basically, of course, <laughs> you crouch, right? And then do four, right? Like that. Okay, so, but we want to do DSS. So we got to do, as we release down, we got to do four back forward really fast, just like that. So you can see release down, then four back forward really fast so if you do this correctly you're gonna see law do the dragon fake step so because he's gonna you're gonna see him do like a couple of steps backwards just like that and then look above your screen so as you can see look above your screen where the Tekken bot prime display is so as I hit Heihachi there's gonna be a yellow frame well it doesn't show it right there I'm gonna try it again there's a yellow there's supposed to be a yellow frame. Maybe I'm doing it too fast. There we go. As you can see, the yellow frame right there means that that's the frame when the Wasa Dying 4 hits Seihachi. Or you could call them, these yellow frames are the active frames. So, yeah, it didn't show right there. I'm gonna try again. I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't show. Well, right there. So, your goal should be to input the back forward as fast as you can so that you input them before the yellow frame, okay? So that's how you should practice this. Okay, there, there we go. I got the yellow frame right there. So it's it has to be on or before the yellow frame. Right there. So that should be your goal. So next is you got to figure out when you can press forward another time. So as early as possible, so you can press it at any time Law is doing the at any time Law is doing the dragon fake step animation. So you can do it. You can press forward another time during that. So, but your goal is to press it as early as possible to have a frame perfect DSS. So that's a frame perfect DSS. So every time you get a frame perfect DSS, you should get plus eighteen. Okay. That's plus 17, as you can see, I'm one frame late. So, how do you know? So, if you look at the Tekken Bot Prime display, every time you get a plus 18 DSS... Um, that's plus 17, plus 15... Okay. I can't do plus 18, my god. Okay. I really suck. The computer is lagging right now. There we go. Plus 18 right there. So every time you get plus 18, as you can see, you see that last forward input? Well, there's a star. It's second to the last uh, second to the last frame. Right there. It's the last forward input. So second to the last frame right there. So you can see the blue frame came just right after the red frame right so what the red frames are the red frames are basically the recovery frames it's when it's when the game doesn't accept your inputs the blue frames are when the game accepts your inputs so your goal should be your goal should be to to have a forward input just right at the very first blue frame that you get okay do you get it okay so every time you get a plus 18 frame perfect DSS, you're always gonna find the first forward input right at the very first frame. 
So you can see that's plus 17, I'm one frame late, so you're gonna find the first forward input at the second blue frame, and so on. So every time you get a not perfect DSS, see plus 17, so you're gonna be late by one frame. So you can see the first forward input is right at the second blue frame. Right, and even later DSS. Yeah, there. Plus 15, so you can see the first forward input is right at the fourth blue frame. So it's late by three frames. So your goal should be to get plus 18 at best. Well, 17 and 16 are good, but if you want a frame perfect DSS, you should aim for a plus 18. Plus 17. All right. Poorly right there. Yeah. 17. 17. 16. 17. There we go. 18. What about happens if we're too early? We're too early right there. Oh, spring perfect. There we go. Too early. So right here, I'm early by two frames. Too early by two frames. So as you can see, law didn't transition into DSS back there. So let me try again. So here's a too early DSS. Oh, that's, that was a too late DSS. There you go. So there, right there. So law didn't go into DSS, right? It's because I was early by one frame right there. You can see that the forward input just, just landed at the red frame right there. Do you see it now? <laughs> so there. All right again. So one frame lead. I got plus 17 there. 16. 16 again. 18. There we go. Frame perfect. Okay, so now we're going to do moves from DSS. Okay, so how do we do that? So here's what you got to keep in mind. So the button that you press cannot be at the exact same frame as the last forward input that you did, which is the back forward forward, the second forward of back forward forward of DSS. So for example, if you're going to do while standing forward to DSS, what, what's a good move? DSS forward two, right? See, that didn't happen there. See, so you can see I did wall standing for DSS forward two. There's a, there's a two at the very first blue frame, and that will not get you DSS. Okay, the two needs to be at the second blue frame, not the very first. The very first only has to be a forward input, not forward plus two, just forward. So let me try again. Okay, see I missed it again because the forward and two are at the very first blue frame. Let me try again. There we go. Mm -hmm. But that was late. That was late again. Let me do it frame perfect this time. There we go. That's a frame perfect one. Frame perfect DSS forward two. So, so very first blue frame, we have a forward. And the next blue frame, we have a forward plus two. And that's how you do a move from DSS. All right. So just remember that. So there should not be any buttons at the very first blue frame. That's what you need to remember. Okay, so let's try doing other moves. So now we're going to do DSS forward 2, which is not DSS forward 2, DSS 2, which is this move right here. Okay, so I'm going to try to do that frame perfect. Right there. Frame perfect DSS 2. So as you can see, the forward input is right at the very first blue frame, and then the two came just right after that forward. <laughs> okay, so that's what you need to get. So the two didn't come with a forward, it's just neutral and two. Alright, so the forward that you see there is only held for one frame. That's how fast you need to let it go. If you want to get a frame perfect DSS 2, or DSS moves without a forward input. Okay, so let's try another move. Let's try DSS 3 plus 4, since that is everyone's favorite DSS move. So, there, as you can see, I'm late by one frame. <laughs> so, uh, how did that work? So, I'm late by one frame, the forward is late by one frame, so that gave me plus 17. And then I did the 3 plus 4 right next to that forward. So, yeah, so 3 plus 4 is 14 frames fast. And then I got plus 17, so that's enough time to go to 3 plus 4. Right there, same thing, played by one frame, 
There we go. Frame perfect. Frame perfect DSS Re plus four. So. So DSS Re plus four is easy to get. There's a lot of room for error, right? So. DSS gives us 18 frames plus plus 18, but technically it's only 17 since we can't input a button right at the very first frame because that is already occupied by the forward. So, so what is the move that that is very hard to do from DSS? Well, it's this move: DSS forward one. That is exactly 17 frames fast when done close. So. So every time you do this from a wall standing forward into DSS, you gotta do this frame perfect. Otherwise, it's not gonna hit. So let me see if I have my settings correct. So uh, I got I'm gonna set Hayachi to guard all, right? So you guys can see. CPU action number one is fan. Second action is guard all, and then air attack set of counter hit. Okay, so we're all set. So we're gonna do one standing four DSS three plus four. Oh, not three plus four. <laughs> DSS forward one. There we go. I missed it because I'm late by one frame. See? See, it's hard to get. There, I got it. It has to be frame perfect. See? You see, DSS forward one is a legit just frame from DSS. So, in my opinion, you should get rewarded off this. Like, um, maybe uh, they should give us like a uh, blue spark DSS forward one, something like that. That's safe on block and gives us a free hit on knockdown. Yeah, we deserve more reward for landing that. But that's just me. I don't know if you think the same way. Uh, it was too early there. Mm -hmm. Too early again? Well, I did not do the DSS. There we go, frame perfect. Too early right there, as you can see, the forward and one cannot be together on the very first frame. Just like what you see right here. So that's why it didn't work. Okay, so same problem. See? Too early again. Too early again. <laughs> oh, that's... Too late. Late by two frames. Late by two frames again. See, this is hard. I suck at doing this. So this is the DSS, uh, the DSS natural combo that you get off the counter hit that you don't really need. Well, too early again. Come on, come on. Let me grab that. There we go. <laughs> See, it's hard to land. And that's why I think we should get more reward for landing that. There. I need to practice this more. Since this is very good at the wall. Because the DSS forward one has good enough pushback at the wall. Some, some characters cannot punish it. Oh, my computer is lagging now. I, I don't know. That happens when I open OBS. Okay. Okay, I suck. I suck so bad. <laughs> there we go. Frame perfect DSS forward one. It's very hard to land. So, so if you want. Frame perfect DSS, practice that move off while standing for it. Counter hit while standing for it. Okay? Right, so before we end the video, let's talk about the other DSS transitions. So, so if you want to perfect those DSS transitions like your while standing for to DSS, you just do the same thing. Yeah. So for example, 4 feet into DSS should give you around plus 8, if done perfectly. See if I can do it. See, plus 7. Right here, as you can see, the forward input is late by one frame, so you can see it's right at the second blue frame. So, same rule applies, guys. So if you want your DSS transition to be perfect, then the forward input needs to be at the very first blue frame, okay? So, let me see if I can do that. Plus six. There we go, plus eight. 
Let's see, there we go. Okay, so what else? Uh, junkyard, I think Junkyard should give you a round plus six, right there. Just like that. Plus five, lead by one frame. Oh, plus one. That sucked. Plus five. That's good enough. As long as you get uh, plus five or plus six from Junkyard, then you're good. Yeah, plus six. There. Frame perfect. And what else? Uh, while standing free, of course. Uh, while standing free, it give you around plus 17. Yeah, there we go. Frame perfect. Okay, 15. 15. 16. Ah, <laughs> I missed. 14. There we go. Okay. Frame perfect for a Pika Swarm. Hope you got that. So, if you don't know, Forward 3 plus 4 is a frame trap off the was standing free. So, you guys should try it. Yeah. Frame trap launcher, counter hit launcher, that's only minus 2 on block. And it's hard to step. I think only Lily can step it. Yeah. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm going to see you next time. So if you like the video, leave a like, subscribe. And if you want to support me, just, just support me through Patreon. So <laughs> I, re I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys.